we, we are part of the problem. Unless we turn to God individually, we make choices individually. That's how change happens, for the worse or for the better, individually. Every individual choice I have makes a difference in this world. And if, every, if more people in this world made their individual choices good choices, they all add up to good things happening on a bigger scale. And sure, people can make every individual choice matters. The more individuals make bad choices, the more it adds up on a grand scale to bad things. And the more people that make individual choices that are good and align with God, the more that adds up to good things in this world. Your choices matter. The only choices you can make are the ones you make. And are you making bad ones or good ones? And if you're making bad ones, then you should really reconsider what you're doing and reconsider how you may be just sitting and pointing your finger at somebody else to say, why doesn't the government do something? Or the government's all the problem. The problem's all, it's all, a lot of people just focus their anger and their attention on Justin Trudeau. Oh, Justin Trudeau, Justin Trudeau. Like they act like one man is the, is the reason for all the problems of our country. Really? You think one man is the, is the reason why we have all these problems? Think again, that's not true. You just, you just want to, it's just, it's just a distraction. It's like focusing, you want to focus your attention and your anger on one man because you don't want to focus it, your attention on yourself and how you're part of the problem. And I had to do this myself, you know, like I realize this, that I can't just sit around and point my finger and say, why doesn't somebody do something? The only person that can do something that I have control over is me. If I want things to be better in this world, if you want things to be better in this world, the only one that can make it better is you. You have to choose to make it better. And if you don't, then you don't. And it doesn't get better. And the whole world suffers because of it and you suffer yourself. Everybody that's making bad choices suffers. And everybody around them suffers too. Do you want to suffer in your life? Probably you don't. And you might not even realize that the reason why you're suffering is because the bad choices that you've made. The, every choice that people make, there's a result, there's a consequence. If you make a bad choice, there's a bad result. That's, it's, the, it's the logical, natural way that God has designed things. You do something bad, something bad results of it. And, and you're, you cause yourself hurt and other people hurt. When you make good choices, then you there's a good result, and you you'll be blessed, and and things good things will happen to you. Your life will go forward in a, in a good direction, and people around you will be affected in a good way, and you'll be happy. So I just hope that you really think about this, think about the choices that you're making in your life and seriously consider what you are doing and what what um, is the result of what you're doing and how your choices are affecting the world and consider making different choices if you're making bad choices consider um, what different choices will result in and how the world will be a better place and the only way the world can be a better place is individuals choosing good choices that are in line with God. And that's the only way the world will be better. But the more people choose, make bad choices and do sinful things, the worse it's going to get. And it's the result of all the people, not the result of just the government or just one man, Justin Trudeau. Like, you're kidding yourself if you think... The government and Justin Trudeau is the just the only problem. <laughs> like, you can't change. You can't really control what they're doing. If you make good choices and everybody could make good choices, the government wouldn't be able to make bad choices. We wouldn't allow it. We wouldn't put up with it. 
and we'd have people in power and we'd vote people in power that made good choices. But we don't have that. God's put bad, corrupt people in power for the most part because the people are corrupt. We get what we deserve. So here comes a combine out in the field. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's combine in the corn. So anyways, God bless you. Praise Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God is so awesome. Hallelujah. God bless you. I hope good things for you in your life and your family and everybody around you. And that you're strengthened and your life goes really, really well. And you make really great choices. And when you do that, your life's gonna change for the better. And you'll be so happy and so filled with joy. And, and hopefully you'll turn your life over to God through Jesus Christ and be forgiven of your sin. It's Jesus is true. So just turn over to him and uh, he can cleanse you all unrighteousness and stop being, um, stop believing lies of the devil. Start believing God. All right, take care, love you, I love you. Hallelujah.